Hey guys, Shidala here. So today we'll be installing uh, Bazaar on your Rogue Ally. Uh, the process is pretty much similar if you have uh, Legion Go or if you have the Ally X or the Ally, it doesn't matter why you should be switching. Okay, so when I tested this, because it was a while back, um, you guys install like TDB thingies um, as a, like a third applications. So and for the fan curves and the RGB, even the gyros, so there was a, some issues going on at that time, but that was a while back. Those have been sorted, so they are probably pretty much built now. You don't need to do anything. It's pretty much installation, just like you how you have on the cloud version of Windows, because it downloads, it does everything for you. When it's ready, everything is almost set. You just gotta install your launchers, and that is it. When I tested it, it ran much cooler at like a lower fan speed compared to Windows. That was the one major difference. Also, you might get a better uh, performance on games in Bazite. Some games, not all, but you might get that. Your mileage may vary, so it depends on you for the other games you're using. Other thing is, um, yeah, the battery. The battery stays the same. I didn't see any notice and from the rear views I've seen from others I think it's almost same you might get like five ten minutes of extra battery on um, Bazette compared to Windows or not but most likely the battery stays same it's not because you're just installing like a Linux your battery will like double or something like that it's not gonna happen right so now a lot of things have been added to the build itself so it's pretty much a straightforward process what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the bazline um website itself I, if you go to download you're gonna do this you're gonna download and yeah because i've already downloaded here that's what what you need to do is you need to select what handles you have and then if you want like a steam like a steam os like setup use this um so also there's a tutorial from the cyber guy a cyber document um it's a pretty comprehensive like a guide and so you can follow that as well step by step so you can see what are the new so they have added a lot of things for ally which weren't at that time but yeah it has been added now so it is like almost uh, Legion go like setup it's pretty much straightforward so the first thing is you'll need to download the setup which I've done it's in Bazide so afterwards you can use Berlin Etcher or you can use um, Rufus to install it doesn't matter whatever pro application you want to use you select the OS you select the disk you want to install file system all the NTF NTFS on the new systems um, and that's it. You run the process, wait for it to complete through, then you become your device comes bootable. So now we'll fall to the ne next slide. So now uh, we'll need to do a few things first in the BIOS setup. So to get to the BIOS, you need to press the power button, you need to start tapping the volume down button. Okay, then you'll need to press the Y button we're gonna go to security we're gonna make sure secure boot is disabled afterwards it will restart we're gonna press this so now we're gonna go to the main window and then press Y okay so we're gonna SSR and create button press this we're gonna select this and we're gonna select the partition to do now it will say what do you want to do so when they want to install bazite we're going to press that now it's okay give it a minute or two for it to catch up
Okay, so now you need to select the country and the keyboard layout you want. So we're gonna select the English, we're gonna select this. Okay, I'll create the account. Give me one second. Hey guys, yeah, sorry, um, I'm back. So now we need to go to the partition bit. So here, because what we'll want to do is we're gonna delete everything, okay? And we're gonna click delete and then we're gonna click reclaim space. This has gone through, then we're gonna click begin installation. So I was able to fix the drive with this active issue. So, so apparently there's a issue. So it's, it's not affecting everybody. So what happens is for some reason when it's trying to uninstall the, uh, your drive, even though like you're switching to a different uh, like boot uh, device, it's still Windows being weird um, or the device is being weird. So what happens is you can try first, try to disable the fast mode. If that doesn't work, then um, check the device settings if nothing is working then the loss option will be you will need to have another uh, or you can use the same drive you will need to install windows setup on that log in go to the partition visit on windows delete everything then come back to this and then it should process and it should run through normally so that what has worked for me um, I previously when I tried I was able to uninstall and it just worked. It might have been because I wasn't looking directly to the screen properly. I might have like misclicked so it might be my mistake as well. So you might uh, not even have to do that. But just like in case you do have that. So first thing is always try to disable the false, uh, mode, uh, false boot. So see if it has worked. If that doesn't work then go to stream uh, <clears throat> options. Yeah. So now this bit is going to take some time. We're going to leave it as is instead of like keeping you wait. So let's see what it does now. Okay, so uh, the installation has complete. So now we're going to reboot the system. So it's about to come back on. And let's see if it's picking up now. Yeah. Just give it some time to load up. So we're gonna press continue. So the first thing is, uh, like now, you will need to connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, then it will also ask you, do you need to do any of the third-party add-ins to be installed? We're gonna do that. If you have done like a Windows setup or Windows installation, it is not that hard. It might look a bit, oh, yeah, I need to do this and that. So, yeah, it's not. So, like now, first we're gonna connect to Wi Fi. I'll connect my details. It's okay. 
So, after connecting to the Wi-Fi, it get asks you, like, do you want to set up a sort of an encryption on the files? It's up to you if you want to skip that. Uh, come to this. We're going to click this, this. Uh, if you want to install any uh, other, like, plugins, you do that. I uh, will install something like that. I'm gonna click allow. Okay. Yeah, it's installing everything at the back end. I'm just gonna give it some time. If you want to use, you can use. I'll say you can use this. Okay. It's still installing all the updates, so I'm going to give more time. So, if you open this one, because I haven't started uh, my, uh, or signed into the Steam Deck itself, it will take to, uh, sorry, not Steam Deck, to my Steam. It will take me to the Steam itself, the big mode, what you call, on like, on PC. So similarly, you can switch between, so you can install, uh, you can switch over to big mode, which is like Steam Deck, it's like full on that, or otherwise if you need to make any changes, you can come back out of that, and you can go to this, and you can just do the updates and all that, just like normal stuff you will do on your Windows machine. So you have tools, you can come back with like one, so there. So you can see. Um, you used to have a few commands which to run through. Um, I forgot them, and because I know like sudo app apt update or sudo apt upgrade that doesn't work on this. Or it used to work. So I might be mistaken. So let's see. Let's wait for that to complete through. It's complete. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, we are in the best now. The setup itself is complete. So um, if you want to check if there's any updates, I think it's you go to settings. Uh, system. I think it's in settings or system. So let's see. Yeah, system settings. System update. Yeah, it's I'm going to select that. We're going to click to apply. So it will always check the status for you. Everything else seems to be normal. Um, I'll tr try to make another video for other setups which you need to do, but like everything else has already been set up. So if you just connect to your uh, Steam now, and that is pretty much it. Uh, and that's it. If you have any questions, do let me know. Take care. Sorry, it's a longer video because the, there are different parts uh, which need to be like, uh, because it takes a lot of a bit to do. And that is it. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.